It's a neat trick. Analysts at Goldman Sachs this week announced that in their professional opinion, large commercial banks are undervalued. They announced an upgrade of their assessment of several banks. And guess what? Share prices of those banks shut up and so did Goldman's. Wells Fargo and company, J.P. Morgan Chase and Co. and the biggest U.S. banks were raised from neutral to attractive by Goldman Sachs Group. By their own admission, the share prices didn't reflect prospects for earnings growth exactly, simply as one official put it, an acknowledgement that, quote, the market has failed to recognize the improvement in earning power at the large banks versus the regionals. If the market fails to recognize that earning power, well, Goldman will surely make the case and the market will take notice. Since Goldman reassessed, those shares bounced in Wells Fargo, Co-America, Capital One and Bank of America. Goldman's own shares jumped 3.8 percent to one hundred and eighty six point forty seven dollars, a 52 week high, putting the bank well placed at the very same time that the company's on track to lead companies worldwide to the first profit increases they've seen in more than two years this quarter. The profits at the world's biggest companies are projected to grow 63 percent in the last part of this year, snapping nine straight quarterly declines. Now let's just wait and see what happens to the rest of us. According to the Wall Street Journal, Goldman's own price targets and earnings estimates have been hiked by analysts at several firms this week. Clearly, banks look after each other. Banks like Wells Fargo, which ate up Wachovia last year for pennies, are now being highly valued by Wall Street's gold standard Goldman. And their advice is buy, buy, buy to buy stock in the big banks whose earnings they say are about to be even greater. So much for all we've supposedly learned. Too big to fail is only likely, it seems, to get bigger faster. That's all we've got time for today. You'll find everything you've seen on this show at our website, grittv.org. There's a place to comment on every story. While you're there, join our mailing list so we can let you know what's coming up and subscribe to our video or audio podcast. We also have a Twitter feed. Just follow Grit TV or me on Twitter and please become a supporter. We're broadcasting commercial free across the U.S. on Free Speech TV, Dish Network, Channel 9415. And you can ask for us on your cable or public television station. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to turn your friends on to our program. We'll be back tomorrow.